How to record business expenses paid with personal money in QuickBooks. Hey there, this is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. Thanks for watching the video. So this happens quite a bit where the owner of a business will spend money, their own personal money on behalf of the business for some kind of business expense. Could be supplies, could be meals, doesn't matter. Uh, but they will spend this money and you have to somehow show it as an expense on the business. You can't put it as uh, in the check register. You can't put it, uh, you know, as a credit card expense because it didn't really hit any of the company accounts. And so I'm going to show you how to record this in QuickBooks. I'm going to show you two ways, two of the most common ways. There could be a couple other ones, but these are the most common ways. The first one is going to be the easiest, and the second one is um, a little bit more complicated, and I'll explain why. Okay, so the first one is, let, let's take an example. Let's say that the owner went out, they went to Office Depot, and they spent 100 bucks on supplies. Personal money, and now they're like, hey, we got to show this expense on the books. How do you do that? The simplest way to do that is to first go up to vendors, and we're going to go to enter a bill. Okay? And this is going to be to the owner. So I'm going to just pick a vendor name. Let's see if we have, uh, uh, we'll say that Winnie Madrid uh, is the owner of the business. Okay, so we're entering a bill because what we're doing in this instance is we are going to reimburse the owner for this expense. All right, so we're going to say the date was 12-15-2023. Uh, there's no bill number, and we're going to say $100 due 1225, and we're going to say office supplies. Now, you probably want to put a memo in here saying something about, you know, reimbursement for personal money spent. Okay. So reimbursement for personal money spent. So there's a bill in the system when I hit save and close. Now, you go to pay the bill, go to vendors, pay bills, and there's going to be a bill in there to Winnie Madrid. So if this is the owner of the business, you cut them a check for $100, and we now have the office supplies expense recorded on the books. Okay, now many owners are like, look, I don't have the cash to reimburse myself right now, so just keep track of it for a while. And I'll reimburse myself as, you know, business picks up or cash flow picks up. So the second way we're going to record this is let's go to the home screen over here. And I want to actually, we're going to go to the chart of accounts. And if you look in the chart of accounts, there is a liability set up that says due to owner right here. Okay, so this is an other current liability. And so what we're doing in this situation is, in general, if, you, if the company doesn't have the money to reimburse the owner right away or within, you know, 30 days or whatever when you pay the bill, you can track what is due to the owner here. All right, so this due to owner account. Now, you want to set this account up. You can do it as an other current liability. You could do it as a long-term liability if you want to, if it's going to be quite some time before they get reimbursed. But you want to have this account due to owner it is a liability account. Now, the way you're going to record this is you're going to have to go in and do a journal entry for this one. So we're going to say company, and let's go down to make general journal entries. We'll say it's 12-15-2023, and the first account is going to be office supplies. All right? An expense is debited when you increase it. So we are going to do this for $100. Again, I'm not going to retype it, but you put in your memo here, reimbursement for office supplies spent at Office Depot or Staples or whatever it is. And then down here in the next line, you want to say due to owner. So let's find that due to owner right here, 100 bucks. All right, so when you do this journal entry, the expense is debited, the due to owner, the liability is credited, you are increasing it. And then when you go to pay the owner, you put it to this account, this due to owner, and it will reduce it. So if you go to banking, write checks, and you say due to owner, 100 bucks, it will reduce this to zero, okay? First scenario, again, just as a quick recap, first scenario is you just enter a bill and you pay it to the owner. You can set them up as a vendor in QuickBooks. It's okay to do that. Uh, 
enter the bill, pay the bill, you reimburse them and you get the expense on the books. Second way is a little bit longer term. They're not going to be reimbursed right away. Put it to this due to owner account with a journal entry. Any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below and I will see you in the next video.